Hey team, Jesse Reynolds here. I've uh, got the privilege to share all the wide videos this week. Got some some messages that have been brewing on my mind. Just want to really focus on some fundamentals and some great perspectives. And so uh, the video for today for Monday, the uh, 6th of July, is simply this. Define expectations. And there's a lot of different applications to this. But uh, with, you know, we know the steps of the success system are to use the products, talk to people by sharing our story, and inviting them to see more. When we invite them to see more, we want to tell them what it is that we are inviting them to see more. So, for instance, uh, if you share your product story and somebody's interested in losing weight, you tell them, hey, I'm going to have you watch a six-minute video that's going to tell you all about this great program I'm following called the 24-Day Challenge that helped me get the results I got. I'm going to send you the video link. How soon do you think you can watch it? And then you set a follow-up time right there. So you define the expectations. The expectations are that you're going to send them a video. The expectations are that they're going to watch the video by a certain time. The expectations are that you are going to follow up with them to find out what they think. So you define all those expectations on the front end. That's really important. That if they don't know and understand the expectations to watch the video, they may or may not watch the video. If they don't know that there's a time frame they're supposed to watch it by, they may or may not do that. If you haven't set a follow-up appointment, then you're wondering, when do I follow up with them? When do I not follow up with them? The same thing with uh, the income opportunity. If you send them championsincome.com to uh, share the income opportunity with them, tell them it's a 16-minute video. This will tell you all about what we're doing. And what I want to do then is I'm going to give you a call to follow up, and I'm going to get you connected with my friend Steve because Steve is an expert at this, and he's the one helping me, and he can help answer all of your questions. So you're telling them, when the follow-up is, you're telling them that you're going to introduce them to your friend Steve. You don't ambush them. You define their expectations and you promote Steve. And Steve is just you know an example. Whoever your leader, your sponsor, your mentor is that you're working with, promote them. See, you should have already had a conversation with them up to this point about what it is that they are looking for. And when you know what it is that they are looking for, you present Steve. You present the action step as the solution to that problem. So again, if you know that they want to lose weight, tell them, my friend Betty, she's an expert at helping people lose weight. If you tell, if you know that they want to pay off student loan debt, you say, you know what, my, my friend Billy, he is an expert at helping people pay off student loan debt. He's the one helping me. He could help you too. You define their expectations going into the call. And you tell them, hey, he's going to help answer all of your questions. Have your questions written down. You'll help guide the conversation like that. And get that that introduction set up properly because if you are great at edifying and introducing your leader well then they're going to be much more likely to listen to what they have to say and actually be eager to what to listen to what it is that they have to say here's another important part with uh with defining expectations it comes to getting somebody started on the products and follow up tell them when somebody gets started on the challenge tell them i'm going to be calling you to follow up on days one three seven and ten don't just be a one-time transaction person be there to be a coach to help them get results. Tell them another thing. When you share your product story, just tell them. You know, uh, we get started on the 24-day challenge. This is not a 24-day quick fix. This is a lifestyle change. You know, every time I talk to somebody, I tell them, I have been on the core product of the 24-day challenge every day for seven and a half years, and I'm never going to get off these. You, see, these are some important word choices. You are going to feel so great, and you are never going to want to get off these products either. So when it gets to day 21, 22, then you're talking to them and following up and say, hey, remember a couple of weeks ago when I told you that uh, it, you know what we do is we stay on these products. So we're just a few days out from you ending your challenge. Why don't you say we go ahead and get you ordered up with some, some products. You can stay on that maintenance phase, stay on that max phase like that and continue those results that you're looking for. Another thing that I tell people, defining expectations. So just speak life to it and let them know on the front end. Hey, Sue, I totally get that you're not interested in, in the business opportunity right now. That that makes total sense. I understand that. So here's the thing, though. This is a serious business for me and Beth, and uh, we operate on referrals. And so we're going to give you great service, and our commitment is to help you with your goals that you're looking for. All, all I'm asking is when you start getting those great results that we know that you're going to get, we will love it if you refer some people our way. And just know and understand that even though you don't have an interest in income, AdvoCare, because we pay our customers really well for referrals, just know they're going to send you checks when you introduce us to people. So it's two weeks in, and Sue's down eight pounds, and she has tons of energy. She's feeling great. Say, so Sue, hey, remember a couple weeks ago when we were telling you about how you're going to get great results and you're going to want to refer people to us? Well, who are a couple people you're thinking of whom you may be able to introduce us to so we can help them the way we've been able to help you? 
So those are some really important de defining expectations. The same thing with the meeting. You know, we just had the, uh, I'm recording this on Sunday night. We just had that freedom call a few minutes ago. That call is incredible. You should have, if you're serious about income, you should have listened to that call. You should have invited people to listen to that call. The replay just got posted. So whether you listen to it or not, listen to it now. And you want to get people followed up uh, that you follow up with on the replay. Define their expectations. Tell them, you know what? I just, I just listened to this call. I heard a girl, you know, she's a nurse in her first Four weeks, she has earned sixteen hundred dollars income, and she's looking at getting debt free with this Advocare thing. Share the story, tell them just just a, just a snapshot, but tell them to find their expectations about what they're gonna what they're gonna hear on there. And I heard a guy, he's a cop. He and his wife they don't have any kids yet or anything, but they they made six thousand dollars the other month with Advocare, and has allowed them completely stop working overtime. You share those stories that you heard. Tell them what they're gonna hear. Tell them who's gonna be in the room with the mixer. Tell them who's going to be on that call. Tell them why they need to be at successful to find their expectations. Because here's the reality. Some of you, maybe you're still on the fence about successful, and I get that. Here, let me define your expectations about successful. If you are taking the time to watch a why video, it's because you have an interest in income. And that is awesome. And that, in fact, that's not just awesome. That's normal. But congratulations for having the courage enough to identify that you and your family want and need more income. That's great. But here's what I know. Success goal is the key. If you have an income goal of a thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month, or more income, it is going to be very, very hard for you to earn that income without getting in the room at success goal. Are you willing to jeopardize your family's financial future? That goal that you have that you said yes to, are you willing to let that slip by because you choose not to get in the room at success goal? Because what I can tell you is if you find a way to get in the room at success goal, things can change. That's the expectation I'm going to define for you. You're going to learn some things. You're going to see and experience some things that are going to change the course that your family's financial future is forever set upon. If you put the work in, if you make the sacrifices and the commitment to get in the room at Success School at Dallas Cowboy Stadium. You guys are champions. Let's go out there and change the world.